How to choose and how to pair of fonts are some of the most common questions I get from my students and viewers here on my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to give you just some examples which are going to help you do just that. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we jump into today's video, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube tutorials and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. So the first resource of the day is typespiration.com and before we move on any further, if you want to check out uh, some more of these resources and if you want to access them more easily, make sure to uh, click the links in the description below. I will leave the links to all of the resources I mentioned in this video. So as I mentioned, typespiration.com and this website is great and you can join 10,000 other designers to get your next design inspiration delivered right into your inbox plus the free PDF guide with the most popular popular Google font pairs and you can click the guides and scroll right here to get the same guide if you're interested. But let's go back to inspiration. How this website works is like this. So they are going to give you different Google fonts. So open size and crimson text, for example, and they're going to give you different colors. So you can use these color combinations in conjunction with these two fonts. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to open science page for the Google font. Crimson text is going to do the same. So basically, if I click right here, I can copy, click to copy. So I've copied uh, this uh, hex code and I can paste it into Adobe XD Figma, whichever software I'm using. And basically you can see open Sans and Crimson are the fonts which are used, as I said, and you can see them in action right here. So they're even going a step further and giving you a helping hand. So for the headings, they used open Sans, Sans Serif. And for the body, they use crimson text. So basically all of this is open sense. All of this is crimson and you can see the colors. So they're using this color for the primary button. They're using this color for uh, H1 and the paragraph, for example, and they're using it for the text color here as well. So you can see how open sense looks like, how crimson text looks like. And once again, this color combination right here. But if we go back to here, you can also choose different tags. So for example, if you want to see a particular font, like let's say Lato, for example, because I know that's a Google font and they don't have any of those combinations. So make sure to explore what they do have. But uh, what I wanted to show you is this. So when I click on any one of these colors and when I click search, it's going to give you different criteria, but uh, obviously they didn't update the website uh, too much because they don't have so many of these examples. So you can see they just have two pages. So basically work with what you have right here, but you get the general gist of this website. Uh, it's really great for what it offers, but uh, it's really limited uh, in its offering. So it's really helpful, but uh, take it with a grain of salt and you can also explore other websites, which I'm going to show you. Next website is fontpair.co and this website is great because it gives you these uh, popular fonts right here. You can choose by sans serif, serif, slab, monospace, display and handwriting and you can see featured font pairs. So let's say view more for this one and it's going to take me to this page so I can see how the font pairing for Nunito and Source uh, Serif Pro look like and I can like them, I can dislike them, I can download fonts and it can take me to Sans, uh, Sans Serif Pro, which is once again Google font, Nunito is the same. So I can click right here to enlarge it and see how they look like. And if I like them, I can download both fonts right here. Or if I don't like them, I can go back. So you can see featured fonts right here. Pairing generator, if I click right there, it's going to take me to here. So it's going to show me uh, some best uh, possible pairings of these Google fonts. So if I don't like it, I can go back to here and I can switch to new color just to see how it looks like. So Laura and Carla, I pretty much like how this looks like and I can take this color if I want to. So that's how the font uh, pairing generator looks like and I can switch to pairings just to see different pairings. So it's going to give me at a glance all of these different pairings, popular fonts and fonts in the wild. So once again, fontpair.com, do check it out. It's a great resource. 
Next up we have font pairings by people.com. By people is a great website which provides all of these awesome resources, but this is the latest resource. It's font pairings by them. So primary text, you can choose any text. So let's go with Anton, which is quite large. And let's go with bold text styles. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with this one. Secondary text, I can go with something like I don't know this one just to see how it looks like text styles i'm not going to bother maybe like this and available pairings so you can see how it looks like straight away right here you can download these fonts that you selected but if we choose this one for example it's going to show me those pairings if we choose this one so i can start pairing so on this one or this one like this or I can choose these. So let's go once again with Anton and you can see how the Anton looks like and secondary text. Let's choose this one maybe and you can see how that looks like. So it's really great because in real time you can see how all uh, of these font combinations look like. Maybe I can click on this one. Depending of the project you're working on, some of these parents are going to work out better than others. Maybe this one. So depending of, let's say, if you're choosing illustrations like these or um, maybe 3D icons like these or images like these, depending of your particular project, maybe you want to choose uh, this or that example, but just make sure to pay attention to uh, does it fit with the brand? Does it fit with the story? And if it does, then you can scroll all the way right here, download the fonts. So once again, font pairings by people.com to check it out. Next up, we have fontjoy.com and it's really super simple to do. So what we have right here is Montserrat. So it's going to take me to this particular font. I can click right here and I can search. So let's go with, I don't know, Roboto. Let's go with this one. So Roboto really bold and I can balance my contrast even better like this. Then we have Laura and let's go with, I don't know, maybe Nunito. Input like this, or I can simply generate and see what's going to, what it's going to bring me. And new months is for the paragraph. So uh, this website gives you three different fonts and I can click right here to switch to white just to see how that looks like. And I can see these are the top pairings. So for this particular option, so Yura and let's switch to this one. Maybe I can write something. This is my title just to see how it looks like. So I can basically balance out all of these things which I'm writing and you can even put your copy fully inside. So let's say generate my fonts for this YouTube video like that. And I can generate different fonts. I can switch between dark mode and light mode. So once again, super simple website, but it's going to give you all of these options. And uh, what I did mention is you can lock this. So if we generate one more and let's say I like this Arimo font, I can click on it. And once I hit generate, once again, it's going to stick to this particular font. I can lock this one until I found my uh, perfect font for the paragraph down below. So it's going to generate just that. So once again, fontjoy.com, do check it out. As you can see, it's quite simple to use, but it's going to be quite useful to find perfect balanced font. And finally, last one of the day is monotype.com forward slash type trends. So you can see the trends for this particular year for the report and you can download report. And what the report is going to do is it's going to show you the best possible uh, font pairings and the trendiest possible font pairings for this particular year. So if you're interested, you can download the report right here. You can watch the webinar and you can see all of the most commonly used and most popular fonts right here. You can see them in action. So this one right here, for example, Sweatless Serifs. So you can see how this font is used. Mix up, organic boot. So if you want to use something like this, then you can see examples straight from here. So once again, type trends.com, uh, uh, monotype.com forward slash type trends. If you want to see what uh, type, uh, uh, 
trends are trending right now and what other people are saying in the industry you can download different wallpapers you can go in depth about certain trends of topography so i would really recommend you to check this out if you want to see what's trending uh, in type for this particular year so there we go those are the resources for this video if you like this video make sure to press the like button make sure to subscribe to the channel i upload new videos every single week all about adobe xd design passive income techniques resources just like these ones so if you're interested in more content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care